Hello! Here we are again at Topol Imports, and I'm the owner, Tom Koslowski, and this is part three of our series about Topol Imports. Part one was where we covered hand drums, and number two was about other instruments that we have in the store, like native flutes and kalimbas, etc. And right now, we're here to talk about hats. My store started off as a clothing store 33 years ago, so I've been selling hats for a very, very long time. And Yes, it is an odd combination, but that's a little bit of the history of it. Hats, of course, are seasonal items, and they're worn by women and men, so you're going to find many, many different styles of hats. And there's absolutely nothing that changes your appearance like a hat, as you can obviously see. And in these, even the color makes a difference, black or gray. Um, hats give identity to certain things. Um, you, in particular, there's many different kinds of shapes, and many of these have classic names. Here's a bowler, okay, we have a fedora, all right. This one is called a pork pie, and I'm sure you know what a beret is, okay. There's something similar about all these hats right here. They are all made of wool felt. Felt is a very unique material. It is wool felt because it's made from wool. You will never hear anything like cotton felt or silk felt or linen felt, rayon felt, okay? Wool has unique properties which I'm going to tell you about because I thought it was most interesting when I heard about it. You probably can't see this on camera but you know what it is. It's a little tie that we use to put tags on garments and other things, okay? It has a little series of barbs, right? And when you push them, they click and they can't go back. If you were to take a single fiber of wool and put it under the electron microscope, what you would see would be these little barbs. So when the wool is wet and agitated, it becomes thicker and thicker and shorter in length. And that's what happens to all this felt. And we have a picture which we're going to show you in the National Geographic magazine. So this issue of National Geographic, May of 1988, was dedicated to wool. It was an extensive story about wool. And in this picture right here, it shows the felting of wool. In other words, the beret needs to be felted. It is first the size of a very large pizza, as you could see, and later on, as it is felted, which is the agitation in water, it shrinks and shrinks and shrinks, and you get your beret. So that's how it is. All right. <laughs> now, um, here's another classic hat. It's a fedora shape, and it's a summery hat, and it's called a Panama hat. What a misnomer. Poor Ecuador, the country where this is made, lost out in the historical um, aspect of this hat. And how did that come about? Well, in 1906, when the Panama Canal was being built, Teddy Roosevelt, our president, was there looking at the operation and he was photographed wearing this kind of hat and it became known as the Panama hat. Hey, I know some of you out there are thinking, Tom, you'll never have a hat for me, so why do I want to go to your store? Well, folks, i got to tell you something. I've heard that many times and that's why I have big hats. Double X, triple X, and there are, are people who have been in here and say, Tom, you don't have it, but yes, I do. Hey, but how do I know what my size is? Okay, there's very little information you need to know about hat size. First of all, you need a tape measure and a head. So let's use mine, right? You go around here, you get your circumference, and what's next? You just simply divide by pi. You know that number. There it is, or the symbol. There it is again. Pi. Pi. But the pi that I usually use is this one, the apple pie, And that will give you your hat size. So what are the sizes? They're from 7 to 8. Size 7 is small. Size 8 is extra large. And you'll find fractions like 7 and a quarter, seven and three eighths, etc., all the way up to the big sizes. Okay, now, another hat that we have in here at Toko is this, 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 right here. 
These are Pat's hats, and every single one is unique and different. One woman, a friend of mine, makes these hats, and every one is a treasure. They're beautiful, beautiful hats. Okay, well, depending on what season you come here, you will find a hat. Don't forget, we've got things like this. We've got Greek fisherman hats, and you know what? They're made in Greece. And for you travelers, remember, we have the packable hats, just like this. You fold them up or squish them down. They bounce right back. Great traveling hat. All righty. Well, that's a little bit about Togo Import hats. Hope to see you here. I've got your size.